Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Hope you guys had a wonderful new year. Um, we had a lovely, lovely, relaxing holiday and my birthday was awesome too. So thank you all so much for your good wishes. I appreciate it so much. Um, today we are going to be doing something that's kind of fun. Um, I was reading some comments and somebody had commented on waiting for Aphrodite. And so I went back and watched the video again to see how exactly I had done that to be able to answer their question. And I was I really kind of want to do that one again. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to recreate Waiting for Aphrodite, but we're using a 24 by 24 because I was thinking that one, when I did it, I was like, wow, I should have used a square canvas because I used a rectangle and it got all weird and stretched out. So hopefully we're going to do it on a 24 by 24 and it's going to come out really cool. So one of the things that I did with that painting was I used a house paint and the one I have now is bare paint and primer house paint. It's this one over here. Um, I have mixed it with a little bit of Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish and Floetrol. This one still feels a bit thick, but if you look, it's leaving a, a thin mound on a mound. I mean, it's very fluffy paint. So, but, <laughs> so I have two cups of that. And that, I believe, is Swiss coffee color. Um, I have my 24 karat gold by Decolard Americana Decor Metallics. I have, instead of Liquitex Burnt Umber, this time I'm using my Van Dyke. Um, brown, sorry. <laughs> Golden's Van Dyke Brown. <laughs> sorry, kids are finally back to school and I can like think. Okay, this one is Chroma Molten Metals in Copper. This is the same one I used in the original Waiting for Aphrodite. Um, I did add a dollop of Elmer's Glue All to that one because it's a bit thinner than the other paints. Um, this one is Golden's Deep Turquoise. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Leaving a mound on a mound. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish and Paint and Floetrol. If you watched the last video that we did, it was the one on my birthday. I actually show you my cup where how I have layered it and all that. What do you call it? Dreamfish. <laughs> so I'll link that one for you here. <laughs> okay, this one is DecoArt Americana Satin Enamels in Warm White. And I've also added some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in there. Okay, so those are my colors with Waiting for Aphrodite. We did a base coat of the house paint, and then I had already layered my cups, and I realized that bothered some of you because you didn't see how I layered it. So I'm guessing as much as you are. <laughs> one of the things that I was trying to make happen with that one was to have sort of a black or dark brown base area with a bunch of the different colored cells coming up. So to me, that sort of yells straight pour, but I want to keep the colors separate. So I want to do a layered cup. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But I did just do, I had a, like a ring pour and then I added more ring pour and then I added another little ring pour and I think I added one more tiny ring pour at the end on that one. <laughs> it was really cool though. So the end was pretty neat. I was like, ooh, that was neat. So this is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas by Artist Loft. Get them at Michael's while they're on sale. Okay, let's get some gloves on and then we're gonna layer our cup and then we're gonna put our base cut on. I like these gloves a lot. I will put a link for you guys in the description box because you guys asked me about them. They do have a texture on them, but in my opinion, that makes it easier to grip things so I don't drop things. So I'm gonna move that out of the way for a moment. The birds are singing, the sun is shining. Let's do this. So we're gonna start with some white. We're going to do a little bit of gold. Uh, I think I'm going to put some copper in next. A little bit of the Van Dyke Brown. Not a lot, not a whole ton. Just a touch of white. Some more gold. And then some copper again. And this time I want to put the turquoise in. And then some white. And some gold. And some copper. And we're going to go back to Van Dyke Brown this time. So you see it was white, gold, copper, then the brown, then white, gold, copper, then the blue, then white, gold, copper, now the brown again. Okay, 
and we're going to do the same thing white gold copper and blue actually i'm going to put a little bit of white between the copper and the turquoise okay sandwich the solid colors between the layers of white and gold. Okay, some copper. And end it with a little bit of brown. So that's going to be our outer layer anyway. Okay, so let's put down our base coat now. I'm going to put one down as a base coat and I'm going to keep that one for if I need to pour around whatever. Okay, so here we go. So the house paint does those beautiful kind of like pebbly cells on the corners and by putting that on first as our base coat not very thick the consistency of the paint I didn't mix it very very thick so it's gonna sell underneath what I pour on top of it or through what I pour on top of it so it should be really pretty you don't have to be like super precise. This is literally just to give your paint something to slide on. But you do want it neat. And you don't want any bugs in your paint. Okay. Let's pour this. Here we go. Now I may pour more than one of these. So just be prepared. <laughs> We're going to do a ring pour. Here we go. Actually, I'm going to go to straight pour for a bit. Pretty. I like it. Bring it back to the center. Okay. I'm going to thin out my gold a little bit and put a ring around it. Okay, so we're going to put the gold ring around this because we want it, we want our pour to slide over this gold and kind of eat it. And then as it slides over it, hopefully it will make some pretty gold cells for us. Now on Aphrodite, I also put a ring of brown around this also. So I'm just gonna add some brown to this cup with a little bit of gold left in it. And I'm gonna mix it up to thin it out just a touch. And we're going to put this around there too. So I expect these layers to slide off. But in case they don't, it's going to provide some lovely depth and contrast to our pour. Okay. Move these out of the way and then we're going to tilt this. I'm kind of tempted to put some copper or some turquoise around the edge also. But I don't think we need it. Because there's a lot of paint on there already. Let's turn this around first. And that's really pretty. And these bubbles in here. These cells are gorgeous. And then we should torch it too. So let's see. I'm letting it roll over that layer of gold and sort of stretch out our paint a little bit. I'm going to go back down to that corner now. Rolling over that 
that first layer of gold. Off the edge there. Come back towards the center. I'm going to go that way now. As the weight of the paint is now in the middle. Just very easily back and forth. Let the weight of the paint roll. And slide. And see how it's eating that gold? It's rolling over it. Perfect. To the corner. So I'm going to go a little bit more. Okay. Bring it back towards me. And the weight of the paint is here again. Let's go down to that corner. Just nice and slow. I want to keep those lines intact. the center and then we're going to go off that last corner. Yeah, it's rolling over the gold. That's that. Come back towards the midline. take it back down to open this part up and compress some of that white just like that Here, I'm gonna stop a second and look at it okay what do I like I love this. I love this area on top with that marbling. It looks like malachite. And I love these little copper cells popping up through there. This is pretty and more reminiscent of what I wanted in the original one. But with this, it seems like we got a lot more turquoise on the outside, which I like. I love this. I'm not digging this part as much, so I want to bring this down and take some of this off and open that pot part up on top. We're just going to take off about that much and open this up and have it hopefully stretch and sell more. It's really pretty down there. I just, I like this better. I'm going to get rid of some of that white though. So when you're using white in your pour, you know, be cautious about using thick layers of it because then you end up with huge areas of white, which can be cool if that's what you're looking for. But sometimes you end up fighting it and fighting it. Oops. <laughs> Ah, man. <laughs> I'm sure you guys all have like a drawer full of clothes with paint all over them. But you know, it's actually, it's funny because like I go through my drawers and I look I'm like, oh, I remember that one. <laughs> I remember that one. Okay. So this is looking pretty cool. I want to look at it from that point of view for a second. What do you think? I'm kind of tempted to pour it off the top of it again. Hmm? I'm not crazy about this. Down there. I like that top part. Yeah. Um, You're the maestro. So, it's not bad, and I really like this part. I'm not so crazy about this. So, I'm actually gonna, first we're gonna tilt more of it off and see if I like that better. And if that doesn't work, then we're gonna pour on top of it again. So, see now it's starting to stretch out the top area too, so it's pulling the paint down from this area and really spreading it, which might be really cool. So, we'll see. There is some really beautiful stuff opening up in here. There's these super, super fine lines where the turquoise mixed with the white on top of the copper and gold. 
top of these like pillows. I'm gonna stand it up just a little bit more to get some of that center part to go off. Isn't it amazing the paint's still moving after all that? <laughs> Take a little bit over this corner off too. Although I like those brown lines, but I don't like that curve that they're doing, so we'll see what happens. I'll just fix that bottom edge a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna go down way to the paint back towards the center. And when it's kind of back in the middle, we're gonna go down this way. Can you see all those lines on top of the copper? It's like super, super fine. I love this copper with the gold. It's so pretty together. They're just amazing. And there's some beautiful pebble cells happening with like turquoise lacing through. There's like a layer of the, the whitish color, the warm white. And then there's gold on top of the white. And then there's copper on top of that. Really, really pretty. Thinking through here, all these little fine lines, and this is that part that I was talking about with the gold. I don't want to drip on it. Really cool. Okay. So, I like that. It's cool. Bring this down a little bit more. Beautiful colors, and I love the details of what's happening. And then this is going to dry beautifully. And I like that the brown is kind of in the background and only as like shadows. It's not really like dark and in your face. But this is going to be cool. I'm very excited to see how that copper and the turquoise with those white fine lines dry on top of it. I don't want to move it around too much because I don't want to start messing up like right in here. It's starting to separate just a touch. So we're going to leave it like that. Okay, so that was cool. Um, <laughs> we're starting to get our pebble cells. I didn't get as many white, maybe because I needed to go around it with the house paint. And we'll try that. I do have more paint left, so I think I'm going to do one more pour, but I'll show you this one when it's dry. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Okay, so this is about half an hour later, and it looks like Aphrodite has indeed arrived. Sorry, those are my knees cracking. <laughs> we can get to fix. You see her, her nose right there, and her chin, and her hair flowing. It's kind of dark in here. Some really beautiful details. This is a really bright turquoise, actually. It came out really neat. So, cool. Okay, so here is Aphrodite. She has arrived. I hope you guys can see her. I think this is so beautiful. I totally see a woman's head, her nose, right in there, and her chin. Bangs, <laughs> and her hair. Aphrodite has arrived. That's so cool to me. <laughs> She just appeared. So this one turned out really, really beautiful. This was the companion for Waiting for Aphrodite. The same colors that we used in that pour. With the turquoise and the copper and the gold and the Van Dyke brown. Really, really beautiful things happening in this piece. Very cool. Lots of really pretty detail. Beautiful cells. Lots of flowing movement up this is my favorite part. Her face, her head. This is just gorgeous. The center part in the middle. I love that color. That copper mixing with the gold. So amazing. And just these super, super fine lines in here. Just gorgeous detail. Really pretty. And 
looking at the bottom now there's this you see the Van Dyke brown just a little bit creating those shadows it's not overtly brown everywhere Got some of our little gold pearl cells floating around in the turquoise some tiny cells in here this is so pretty really beautiful again in the top corner some of those little floaty pearl cells just beautiful layers though it's very soft this is a very calming piece very relaxing but there's still a lot of movement in it to me it totally looks like the wind has just blown her in and is blowing her hair around hi Zan what do you think yeah okay <laughs> That was Panther style. <laughs> oh, here we go. We have to play on camera, huh? You're such a ham. You're playing to your fans now, huh? All right. I can't make this. I can't make a cat do anything. You know that. <laughs> okay, Zen. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, back to the painting. I love this. So this is Aphrodite arrives, and she is beautiful. Uh, I'm actually going to go get waiting for Aphrodite so we can see them together. I'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> that's waiting for Aphrodite. And there is Aphrodite arrives on the bottom. So looking at the two of them together, that golden turquoise is a different color than the turquoise that I used in this one. But I think the copper still ties them together. They look really cool. I really love copper and gold is just amazing so if you haven't seen waiting for Aphrodite go check it out I will link it here for you this one turned out really really neat I may have to play with this again because this is the kind of thing that I was actually looking for were these little house paint cells and that didn't quite happen but I still love this piece a lot very cool so there's the two of them together waiting for Aphrodite and Aphrodite arrives Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching and being a part of my journey. I really do appreciate you all so much. If you want to see more of my stuff, you can check it out on Facebook, Mina Villegas Art. Or you can check out my Etsy shop. Or, let's see, what else? <laughs> check out the Facebook groups, man. That's one of the best sources of inspiration. And if you have questions and just seeing what everybody is doing and get some ideas, go look, go ask questions, talk to people. You learn so much. If you guys enjoyed this and you'd like to be a patron of the arts, there's a link in the description box for a PayPal me. All of your donations are greatly appreciated. And help me keep stocked up in paint and supplies. So, thanks for hanging out with me and Zen, the silly cat who's taking a dirt bath. Zen, you're supposed to be respectable and dignified. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you for the next one. Have a beautiful day.